So you wanna make your own supplements? Well, guess what? It's actually really easy. This is what we're gonna go over in this video. What really is making your own supplements? Why you wanna make your own supplements? And then we're gonna get into how you make your own supplements. We're gonna go through five different steps. One, choose what supplement you wanna take. Two, how much you're going to need to take. Three, obtain the powders in single ingredient form. Four, mix the supplements together. And step five, assemble and or take the supplements. Late peeps. What do we mean by making your own supplements? What it actually means is mixing and assembling your own supplements. Unless you're taking just one ingredient, then it gets a lot easier. Why would you wanna make your own supplements? Well, really there's five reasons. One, you can't really trust the supplement companies you buy from currently. You may have heard of Craze, uh, that pre-workout had 7.2 milligrams of amphetamine per dose. Or how about Arnold, the muscle farmer brand that had 40 grams of protein on the label, except in the scoop, there was only 19. There's been plenty of examples of this happening throughout the industry for many years. Two, doing it yourself is healthier. You're able to put only single ingredients in and you could stay away from all the acidifiers, the preservatives, the artificial colors, sweeteners, flavors, anti-caking agents, really all the extra stuff that they put in that's unnecessary and can harm your health. Three, doing it yourself is cheaper. When you buy single ingredient powders in bulk, it's much cheaper than if you were to buy those same powders in capsules or mixed or separated for you. Four, doing it yourself is much more effective. It can be personalized and tailored specifically to you, your body type and what your goals are. And five, it's easier now than it ever was before and we'll get into the reasons for that in a little bit all right so step one choose what supplement you're going to take this might seem inconsequential but it's actually a very important step when you're taking supplements it's obviously for a specific goal so you need to choose what those goals are and then go from those goals to choose what supplements you take for example if you're looking to lose weight you'd obviously want to take a weight loss aid or a fat burner or if you're looking for energy you might do stimulants you might do vitamins and minerals electrolytes if you're looking to improve mental performance you might do nootropics so for this example say we want performance enhancement for bodybuilding so we're going to make a pre-workout powder now what ingredients are we going to need well, that's pretty easy to find out. You can simply Google best pre-workout ingredients and just do some research there. Usually if you come this far to look for how to make your own supplements, you already have a supplement in mind. So I'm gonna to skip to the next one. If you have any questions on that, feel free to comment below. Step two, choose how much you're gonna to need to take. So to find the right dosage for your supplement, just go to Google and you type in whatever supplement you have and that you're trying to find the dosage for. Then you write dosage for, and then whatever goal you're trying to achieve. So for example, if I was trying to choose the dosage for my citrulline powder that's gonna be in my pre-workout formula, it would be L-citrulline dosage for pre-workout. We suggest using the dosages you find in studies, but if it's something as simple as a pre-workout powder, you could always just go to the best reviewed pre-workouts and look at the dosages that they have in theirs. We suggest just doing a quick little bit of research, maybe looking at the studies and the most effective dosages in those studies, just to be sure of your dose. There is one thing that I wanna bring up and that's the difference between an extract and a normal powder. A whole powder is basically some sort of supplement, herb, ingredient that's been dried and then ground up to make this powder for you. An extract is essentially the same thing, except the main ingredient or whatever the specific alkaloid that you're looking for of interest in that supplement has been extracted to make it much stronger for the same amount of powder. So for example, in turmeric, the main alkaloid of interest is called curcumin. And curcumin is about three to 5% per whole powder turmeric naturally. So if you had normal turmeric ground up, you'd have three to five percent curcumin in that entire thing. But in an extract, you'll find that 95% weight of that powder is curcumin alkaloids. Side note, this is one way that supplement companies may choose to trick the people who are buying their products. They a lot of times may instead of using an extract which is required for certain ailments, um, they'll put in the same amount of powder in normal form and not tell you, and they'll charge you the same amount, when really the effective dose of that is gonna be way higher than it would have been because typically it comes in an extracted alkaloid form. So just watch out and make sure you know whether you're getting an extract or a powder. Uh, if it doesn't say that it's a powdered extract, then you can most likely assume that it's gonna be a whole powder. Once you know your dosage, you're gonna to wanna to find out how much of the powder you're gonna to need to take. So to do that, you'll times your dosage by the servings in total. So for example sake, Let's say I wanna take L-citrulline uh, at a dosage of five grams once a day, pre-workout, and five days a week. And I wanna do that for three months, let's say. So in total, I'm gonna to need 300 grams of citrulline to be able to take it five days a week for three months. So now that I know how much powder I'm gonna need, well, now we have to obtain the powder. So we go to step three, 
obtaining the powder in single ingredient form. And why do I say single ingredient form? Well, that's because that's the cheapest way to buy it in bulk and it's the best for making your own supplements. For my pre-workout powder, uh, I'm going to want five different ingredients and I've calculated out exactly how much powder of each one I'm gonna need. So then when I wanna go buy the powder, you just need to know ounces and pounds and then you need to know metric units, which will really only be milligrams, grams, and kilograms. Now, most people know like around what a gram is. So it's very simple. There's a thousand milligrams in a gram and there's 1000 grams in a kilogram. 3.52 ounces is 100 grams. 500 grams is 1.1 pounds and 1000 grams or one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if you see those are the most common numbers that you're gonna see when you go to buy your powders online, just recognize those. That's what those mean. Where you get the products is up to you. There are a lot of places on the internet where you can buy bulk powders. I'll link to some of the ones that I use below, but you know, that's not to say that you can't find better ones somewhere else. Just make sure that the companies that you buy from and the brands you buy from you trust. Amazon is also a good place to buy them as long as you trust the brands on Amazon. Because we need 300 grams of L-citrulline, I'm obviously gonna wanna buy a little bit more than that. So it's gonna be 500 grams. And I'll do the same thing for the other four ingredients in my pre-workout powder that we're making. That's gonna be L-citrulline, L-tyrosine, beta-alanine, creatine monohydrate, and matcha. If you're thinking why matcha, well, it's because it has natural caffeine and L-theanine in it. Typically, I'll also put something like pink salt, a natural electrolyte and mineral blend. But for this, we're just gonna go with that. Now, step four, mixing your supplements together. As I said in the beginning, if you're only getting one ingredient and you wanna make supplements using just one product, uh, for example, like turmeric, well, then you don't have to worry about uh, this step. You can skip to the next one. But if you're doing something like a pre-workout powder or like a general health mix, then you're gonna to wanna to mix them together because having five to 10 different bags or tubs of powder and trying to scoop them all and do it, just trust me, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep each mix supplement that has one purpose together. So like a pre-workout that you take once a day before the gym or you know, like a general health mix that you take once or twice a day. There are many other examples of this, but this is just what I'm using for simplicity's sake. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the amount of powder that you calculated in the last step for each different supplement ingredient. And then you're gonna take the total amounts of powder, you're gonna weigh them out, and then you're gonna mix those together evenly. It's just like baking. You have to mix it together thoroughly. There are three things that you have to remember when you're mixing powders. One is particle size, okay? If one powder that you have has a much greater size particle than the other powder, well then it's not gonna mix evenly very well. So before you do anything, you're gonna wanna grind that down. You can use like a coffee grinder, sometimes even like a blender, but a Vitamix works really great for this. But most of the supplements you'll buy online in powder form will come finely ground, so you're not gonna have to worry about that. Two is particle weight. If one of the ingredients you're taking has a lot uh, denser powder than the other powders, that is gonna naturally go to the bottom. So to mix that evenly, what you wanna do is you wanna put the lighter powders in the blender or whatever mixer container first. So say if you're mixing them using a whisk and a bowl, just like you would do baking, well, you would put the lightest powder first, you know, then the next lightest, then the next lightest, and then the heaviest on top. And when you mix it, the heavier powder will come down a little bit and kind of mix in very well because the lighter powder tends to come to the top, heavier powder tends to come to the bottom. And finally, uh, particle quantity. If you're mixing a very, very large amount of powder with a very, very small amount of powder, well then you have to do that a little bit differently than if the powders are all generally in the same area. So you can mix like, like 200 grams with 500 grams, that's fine. You can mix 100 grams with 1,000 grams even, that's not gonna mix that unevenly, you know? I mean, you wouldn't really have to worry about that. Like 10 to one is probably the most you wanna do. But if you're mixing something like one gram with 100 grams, well, if you want that one gram to be evenly dispersed throughout that entire 1, 000, uh, 100 grams, you're gonna have to use the geometric dilution method. And it sounds complicated, but it's actually extremely easy. I'm gonna go ahead and add a link in the description of a very good video that I've seen before doing it using a mortar and pestle. And they use white powder and pink powder. So it's very, very easy to see how it works. It doesn't take very long. It's very simple. You're really gonna, gonna do this with specialty powders like nootropics where the dosage is super low. Like, so say there's one nootropic called Noapept, which the dosage is very small, like three milligrams, right? You wanna mix that in with a carrier powder so that say, if you take one gram of this powder, then it's gonna have three milligrams of this. That's when you use geometric dilution. And this is the method that many supplement companies use to evenly disperse their powders um, when they're making products. But it's very easy, don't worry about it. I'll link that in the description below. Now, when you mix all the supplements together, 
Remember, take those dosages that we calculated in step three and then put them on top of each other and then add them up and you'll find that amount of grams is how much powder you're gonna take per serving. So for my pre-workout for this example, I'm doing five grams of citrulline, two grams of beta alanine, five grams of creatine, one gram of tyrosine, and three grams of matcha. So add that all up, and that would be 16 grams total. So when I go to take my pre-workout, my dosage would be 16 grams of the entire mixed powder. So step five, assembling and or taking the supplements. Now there are a few different ways that you can do this. The most commonly known is filling capsules. Why? Because capsules, they're relatively cheap. You can buy capsule filling devices that make them easier to fill, which like we did right here, you can see this was filling 100 capsules using a capsule filling device. It took about 20 minutes to do that. You can buy these online. I'll put a link in the description of places that you can get this. But this actually isn't my favorite method because it's very time consuming to make your own capsules. And even then when you go to take them, capsules take about 20 to 30 minutes to dissolve in your stomach. So that's not the way I like to do mine. But then there's also pressing tablets. Now pressing tablets for a normal consumer isn't very likely to be done just because it's Tablet machines, the base model started at about $1,500, and then they just go way up from there. And when you do that, you also have to buy binders and fillers, which, you know, those get expensive if you wanna buy the healthier ones. Um, and then they're also, you're adding, you know, binders and fillers, which are, you know, added ingredients that you really don't need in there that'll take away from the health part of your supplements. So really it's just not like a feasible uh, option unless you're making products to resell to people. Next, you can mix them in liquid, however, the reason that pre-workout powders come mixed with so many artificial colors, sweeteners, flavors, all that added acidifiers, preservatives, is because those powders, they're super bitter and you couldn't imagine the taste if you did that in just water. Uh, anyone out there that has taken L-arginine or plain branch chain amino acids or BCAAs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They are horrid. Maybe you could do it in juice, you know, be a little better, orange juice, something like that. But my uh, tried and true, my favorite method is using edible films. They're also called gel films. Ours are called blade pates and they come in square or little cone shapes. And these actually hold a lot more than a capsule. So instead of having to fill capsules that only have a maximum size of about one gram, and then you also have to use a capsule filling machine, you have to fill a bunch at a time, so you, you can't really take a little bit. A lot of products also have a higher dose than one gram, so you have to fill multiple ones. This is my favorite way, especially for pre-workout, especially for things like herbs, uh, health supplements, Kratom, those kinds of things, it works perfect for that. It's also very easy to swallow because what happens is you add powder, you dip it in water and it gels. So it becomes a gel around the powder, all right? And this, this whole process is very quick and easy. There's no cleanup and they're vegan. We compared the time it takes to fill 100 capsules to the same time it takes to fill tapes with the same amount of powder. It took about half the time and didn't leave a mess, didn't require any tools. So when I talked about it being easier now than it never was before, that's because edible gel films or edible films, it's just a quick, easy method. And that's why instead of filling capsules, we like to store our powders that we mix together in wide mouth mason jars or large tubs, anything that has a big enough lid to where you can stick your hand in because as the powder gets down to the end of the jug or whatever you're putting it in, you don't wanna stick your whole hand in to get the powder out. When taking the supplements you made using edible films, we highly suggest getting a digital scale. I'll link to ours below. This is important because just as with the capsule, size measurements aren't very precise because all powder densities are different. And a scale is a very quick and easy way to do this. So then to use it, just dip it in water and then swallow it with more water. And that's really all you have to do. And that's really it. Uh, that's how you make supplements. It's very easy. It's intuitive. Once you figure it out, you kind of get a feeling for it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.